I wish I was in Carrick Fergus, only for nights, nights in Ballygrand. Very fortunate to be joined by the CEO of the VAFA, Michael Scholley. Thanks for joining us. No problems. What's been happening for the Baffer in the off season? Obviously, you went to Ireland. Tell us a little, little bit about that. Yeah, well, we had uh, two weeks in Ireland where we played against uh, four teams from the local counties. There, we started in uh, down in Cork, then we went off to Galway, played in uh, played in Dublin, and the highlight of the tour was playing against the All Ireland team that came over and played against the AFL and yeah. demolished them. And uh, before that, though, we gave them a good, gave them a good warm up and I they demolished heard, us. Heard there were a few highlights in the evenings as well, but we won't go no, into those now. Um, had a great win a couple of weeks ago to launch the season with the representative side in the Premier A and B competitions defeating the Eastern Football League. That was a great initiative. Yes, it was uh, celebrating their 50th anniversary, and uh, we're really proud of our representative team and culture. That, uh, a similar side to the one that went overseas actually played in that team, so there was a good bond there already. And uh, it was a bit unfortunate though, we did, we did go down in the Divisions Premier C for us to Division 4 went down to their Division 3 and 4 side, so it was one all, but I suppose the main event we got through. The initiative's there to maybe do that into future years, I imagine? Yeah, well, we've got a full representative program. We play uh, AFL Sydney this year uh, up in uh, Blacktown at the uh, GWS Oval. Uh, we play there on Queen's Birthday weekend and our under-23s play against WA. Our under-19s are against the BCFL. And uh, our under-18s at the end of the season are going over to New Zealand to play against AFL New Zealand under-20. So we've got a pretty full schedule. Um, but certainly they're great competition and you know, we'll look forward to playing them, I'm sure, in the future. The VAFA season launch gets bigger and better every year. No exception this year. It was a great night a couple of weeks ago. It was. It, uh, you know, it had a great balance, but it also had a great after-dinner speaker and Chris Scott was outstanding. Hopefully it didn't affect his preparation too much so that he can go and do that at other venues. They had a loss on Monday or on Sunday against his twin brother. But it was a great event. He spoke about his days when he was at St Kevin's and playing for the school and uh, following on from that obviously at Brisbane Lions and then a great start to his coaching career last year. I'll get one final one from you, Michael. Um, what's the big thing you're looking forward to this year in the VFA? Uh, the thing that I really like are all the sides that get promoted. And so I'll be looking forward to seeing how Werribee go in Division in Premier B. This is the first time they've been in that position. Uh, Caulfield Grammar going up to A. I think that's the first time they've been there now in about 20 years. Um, so all the sides who are going up, I'd like to see how they tackle on the next contest. You know, we'd love to see even Ajax in Premier, which they haven't been in for 25 years. So a lot of sides have had a bit of success going from C grade through to B and A in the last few years. So I think it's possible. And then uh, obviously those lower grade sides with uh, Ben Yule having a good year last year, Parkdale are surging. I like to see those sides on the rise. Michael, thank you very much for your time and best of luck for the season. Have a great year uh, for the VFA. Well, George, round one's upon us. Let's look across all the sections at what we think might be the biggest games this week. Certainly it's going to be a big week of footy. Now, in Premier section, I'm uh, particularly interested in the Collegians Uni Blues game, Andrew. I uh, actually caught up with uh, Jack Watts today to preview the uh, Uni Blues and how he's going this preseason. So while I was at the uh, Watts factory, I thought I'd uh, bump in and jump into his younger brother, Jack, whose first question to me was, have my manager approved these questions? And now uh, they haven't. Jack, you've got a few tickets on yourself, let's be honest. Great to catch up with Jack. Thanks for those words, Jack. Um, Collegians Uni Blues, obviously a lot riding. Rain your premiers, um, great structures in place down there at Collegians, and they should go back to this week. I am tipping them to knock off Uni Blues. I just think they've got too much firepower. I'm going to sit on the fence on uh, tipping a Premiership winner at this point until we see some of the form, maybe after week one or two. Yeah, looking into Premier B, uh, sticking with one of the university sides there, Uni Blacks are travelling out to Oakley at Warrawee Park on Sunday for those that want to head down there. Uh, big game this one with between these two sides. I'm going to go with the Blacks to win this one at Oakley on the Sunday afternoon. Now, down in our Premier C, the uh, game to look out for this week is Mazanon versus Old Camwell. Of course, both met each other last year in the finals and both had very good pre-seasons and expecting big things this year. Moving to Division 1 and we've got Ormond uh, hosting Glen Ira in one of those games where we saw one side drop and one side come up. Uh, Ormond, I like them at home in this one. Yep. And in Division 2 we've also got another team that uh, has come up and another team that's come down. We've got Paran Assumption versus Bulleen. And uh, I'm going to stick with Paran Assumption. I think the momentum they've got from last year, their first year in the Baffer's and Club, 
is going to hold them in good stead this year and look out back for followers for them to uh, keep rising up the ranks. Aquinas uh, are hosting St Francis Xavier in Division 3. That's probably the game to look out for there that weekend if you're following Division 3 action. Aquinas for me in that one. And, uh, and down in D4, Andrew, we've got the uh, two sides, two furthest geographically located away from each other, Point Cook and South Mornington. So, big decision for South Mornington. Do they uh, catch the ferry across there or do they drive? I'd probably get in the car and drive around. A bit wary of potential Italian uh, steamship captains or ferry captains driving yeah. across uh, Port Phillip Bay there. There you go. So, South Mornington boys, make sure you uh, drive down to Point Cook. But my tip is Point Cook for this one. Now, obviously we can't tip every club right throughout the season, George, so we better look at a side that you think is definitely going to get the four points in round one of the season. Across all the sections, who are you looking to? My lock of the week, Andrew, uh, big decision, took me a while, is going to be Old Ivanhoe against Bill Morris. I think Old Ivanhoe have a huge home advantage, advantage out there at the Pine Lodge, and a few new recruits, Nick Geeshen, uh, Hayden Hedder back to the club, uh, they're my lock, so boys down there at Ivanhoe, don't let me down. Hampton Rovers are travelling to Rupertswood, and I think it could be a tough trip for Hampton Rovers in Premier C. Rupertswood to win the points for my lock in the first round of football. If you've liked even part of what we've shown you today, then we'd love you to keep joining us right throughout the season, and you can get involved with the show. Obviously, you're watching this through at the YouTube channel at Vafacom, and watch out for that video. Subscribe to the channel, and you'll be able to see us uh, dissecting all the games from all the sections each week throughout the 2012 season. You can follow us on Facebook, vaffa.hq, and of course, we're on Twitter, George. All you Twitters out there, personally not the biggest tweeter, Andrew, but I know you're quite big on the tweets. Love the bit of Twitter, vaffa underscore hq, if you want to get us on Twitter. And of course, we'll be going out to your club each week, George. Exactly, so we're going to be introducing a few segments from uh, next week and going forward, Andrew. Please email us at vaffatv at vaffa.com.au, you see on your screen below. And if you want us to come to your club on a Thursday night just to see how things are done, I know every club has a different sort of theory what they do down there, a bit of pasta after each night. Uh, it used to be pie and chips, but I think the clubs are I now more yeah, focused on the dietary requirements and the I boys on the park. And the beers also, uh, which club uh, has a few, sinks a few cans on Thursday night, it'll be quite interesting. So please email us at that email address if you'd like us to come out to your club on a Thursday night. Finally, George, I better ask where you're heading to. What game will you be watching this week? Uh, I'll be watching my boys, Old Scotch, take on De La Salle down there at Derryville, and uh, hopefully the milkshakes are a little bit better than uh, last year. And I'll be doing the rounds for Inner FM 96.5 football coverage on the Saturday afternoon. We're broadcasting from Old Trinity. They're hosting Old Zavarians. And of course, don't forget the Inner FM on, Inner FM on Saturday mornings. Uh, from 9 to 11, the BAFA football show. Uh, Mike Fitzgerald, Kemper Truco, Michael Crooks bringing you all the previews across all sections. And of course, some great interviews, particularly from the BAFA launch night. A lot of Hall of Fame inductees and the like, I'm sure they'll all be heard on the BAFA football show. 9 to 11, Saturday mornings. That's about all we've got time for. Thank you very much. It's been great bringing you the Vaffa TV show. My name's Andrew Leonard. And I'm George Dick. See you next week. Thanks. You're casting your spell on me I say, oogum, 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 oogum Now, baby, you're casting your spell on me